What is going on all of you beautiful people? It is Colossal Kiwi here and welcome to the first installment of the Techland Times. Now this is going to be a new news series where I will focus on news and important bits of information regarding Techland games, not just Dying Light but any Techland games uh, with like I said information that you may have missed or that I think is important or that I simply want to discuss and bring to your attention. Now why is this not called Dying Light News or Dying Light Chronicles or something like that. Uh, well, it's simply because there is more than just Dying Light. In terms of Techland games, we now have another game on the horizon that we need to be inter well, we don't need to be interested in, but I am certainly interested in. I've been interested in this game for a long time, and now it is back. It is coming back, and I am so excited for it. And let me just get into that first. Uh, just, just when I thought that I could not love Techland anymore. And there I said it, I will openly admit that with no shame whatsoever. I do love Techland, I am a fanboy, so take that for what you will. Some of you have been around for a while will know this already. Just when I thought that my illicit affair with Techland couldn't get any more spicy, the Techland's CEO, whose name is Powell Machuka, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name by the way, has released two open statements, uh, open letters, public statements, whatever you want to call them, and I'm going to get into that, I'm going to link the relevant articles in the description, anything that you need to know, anything you want to visit and read for yourself or anything, it's all going to be in the description, and the first one I'm going to take a look at is an interview actually with the CEO, and I'm just going to read one section about it because most of it is about Dying Light and the success of Dying Light the following, which is really cool, and it is an interesting read, but I want to focus on this section right here, you can see a screenshot and underneath it it says, Hell Raid is on hold, but Techland have big plans for the fantasy horror, and this, this is the game from Techland that we must concern ourselves with, or that I am concerning myself with, because I've been excited for this, like I said, for a very long time, and this, this little article just brings me so much joy. I will read this little paragraph for you, or a couple paragraphs actually. It says, but what does the future hold for Techland? While post-apocalyptic RPG Day of the Mutants is long cancelled, another on-hold game is very much in Machuka's plans. Once again, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Dark Fantasy Hell Raid was announced in 2013 and scheduled for release last year until it was postponed due to Dying Light commitments. With lead character Aiden, voiced by Nolan North, and a well-received mobile puzzler developed by Short Break Games set in the universe, it seems Techland remain invested. It's been quite far in some places, says Machuka, but we put it on hold because we have bigger plans for this game, but it's not cancelled. It is not cancelled. Yes! Okay, sorry, I just had to get that out of the way. So that is the part of this article that I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, I thought that the second paragraph was actually relevant to uh, Hell Raid, but it isn't, so I just focused on that one. And this is huge news. Now, all of you, pretty much all of you on this channel are interested in Dying Light. That is the main focus of this channel. I have done videos on other games, but I'm sure all of you, 99% of you, are interested in Dying Light, you're well aware of Dying Light the following and things like that, you've been keeping up with news on that, but I'm willing to bet that a lot of you are not actually aware of Hell Raid. I may have mentioned Hell Raid and at first you're like, what is that? And Hell Raid is actually, as it said in the article, a game that was announced by Techland in 2013 and was actually set to be released in 2015. And, well, the best way I can describe this is it was kind of... I wouldn't say like marketed, but how I perceived it when they were releasing gameplay and character art and, and things like that back in, you know, 2014, 2015, when they were actually just like giving us sneak peeks at stuff. It kind of looks like a Dying Light or Dead Island set in a medieval universe. It's kind of like Dead Island meets Skyrim. I have this bad habit where I can compare other games and obviously it is its own very beautiful creation and I don't just want to uh, take away from that just by comparing it to other games but I thought that might give you a better understanding. I've seen the gameplay mechanics, I've seen things like that and it is very similar to other uh, Techland titles and all that except they have improved the melee combat and it runs on the same Chrome, I think it's the Chrome 5 or the Chrome 6 engine, I'm not up to date on that actually, uh, but it looks amazing and it was actually postponed in 2015 uh, they released an official statement saying that while they have enjoyed working on it you know and it's looking beautiful and stuff it's just kind of not 
really what they had in mind when they began. So they wanted to go back to the drawing board, uh, but they wanted to postpone it and also work on Dying Light because obviously Dying Light the following was in the works and they really wanted to focus their attention on that since Dying Light was huge. It's, it's Techland's biggest title so far. So that makes a lot of sense and it's an understandable move from their part. And many people, including myself, were so scared that Hell Raid was going to be completely canceled, but it is not. Thank you. Thank you, Techland. Um, I know you said in the statement that it's not really uh, meeting your expectations and that you want to go back and redesign things, and that's absolutely understandable. I am in no position to tell you what is right, what is wrong, and I'm not in no position to tell you that you should continue doing things uh, the way they already were, but what I will tell you, and what many other people have also told you who are very interested in Hell Raid, is you had a very very beautiful product on your hands, the concept art, uh, the gameplay that you showed was absolutely beautiful and fantastic, and seriously, if you stick to the roots that you've already developed, I think it's going to be a very wonderful title. Um, and it did mention in that article there was a mobile puzzler game, and what they were referring to is Hell Raid The Escape, which was a mobile game uh, that they released to kind of promote it and to get you kind of hyped up for the release, uh, which unfortunately, you know, is going to be coming uh, in the future instead of in 2015, which is okay. Um, but I just want to point out that I, I'm pretty sure the mobile game, Hell Raid The Escape, is actually still available to download and play from the Google Play Store and I think the iTunes App Store or whatever that's called. And so if you are interested in Hellraid, don't only just like go over to the Facebook page, because you should definitely do that. Hellraid has a Facebook page. Um, also go and check that game out if you want to. I mean, it's a really cool little puzzler game. They also have like an interactive trailer, which is really cool. We can choose different um, choices and you may or may not survive. And uh, I just want to say, once again, thank you Techland, and to anyone who does not know about Hell Raid, or is just learning about it through this video, I highly recommend that you go and check it out, go and do some investigating. It's awesome, I am going to cover it on this channel, and you can bet when it comes out I am going to be all over it. But up until the release, I am going to be providing you with more news, so if you want to stay tuned, you want to learn more about that, I may do some Everything You Need to Know episodes about it, just to get everyone up to speed. It's, it's a wonderful title, it looks amazing like I said, and I am so excited for it. Oh, it's awesome. Now, like I mentioned earlier, all of the relevant links, I'll have links to the Hell Raid Escape game and, and the articles and even the Facebook pages and all that can be found in the description if you want to learn more. But now I'm going to move on to the second article, a second uh, public statement, if you will, that I want to focus on. And this one is relevant to Dying Light. And I'm just going to read it all for you. It is an open letter, once again, from the CEO of Techland. And, uh, well, I'll just read it to you. Like I said, dear players, while the launch of Dying Light the following Enhanced Edition is only a few days behind us, I wanted to take a moment to thank you all for the support, feedback, and faith you have shown in us. We have received countless words of encouragement, praise, and constructive criticism. I would like you to know that we appreciate and listen closely to everything you have to say. We are also humbled by the immensely positive reception of the enhanced version of our game. We have always had faith in the project, but seeing so many enthusiastic opinions among players and high review scores from the press is utterly heartwarming. At the same time, it is a clear sign that there is still high demand for that unique Dying Light experience. To make sure that every new or veteran player gets all the fun they deserve, we have decided to continue our support for Dying Light at least till the end of this year. 2016 that is. This isn't just old, this is a few days ago. We are already working on new unannounced content, so stay tuned for future news. Having said that, this is my personal request to all of you, share your impressions with us. You can do it through one of our social media channels, our official forum, or simply by email. We want to hear about all your stories, ideas, and problems you could have. As the Dying Light franchise goes forward, let us also know where you want to see it headed. We strongly believe in active collaboration between our design team and you, players who every day fight for survival in the world of Dying Light. We are all ears, Powell Machuka, Techland CEO. This is big news, and this is more relevant for most of you, obviously, because like I said, you are all fans of Dying Light, uh, but you had no idea, or well, most of you would have no idea about Hell Raid. This is huge. They have confirmed that Techland, uh, as they're going to support Dying Light with updates and 
DLC by the sounds of it, more content until the end of 2016. It's a whole nother year, or nearly a whole nother year, of content, of updates, of fixes, of patches, and that's amazing because I am not planning on stopping playing Dying Light anytime soon or Dying Light the following. You know, it's there's so much to do and this is extremely exciting. Like I said, they have new unannounced content. Now, what I am unsure about is whether or not that content is going to be free for everyone. Like, a, a shitload of the content has been free from like free updates and things like that. Or if it's going to be DLC that you pay for and like the season pass and all that. Um... You know, I don't know this, and I'm just going to put this out there as a guess, but please do not let this, uh, do not perceive this as uh, an official piece of information or anything. This is my opinion only, and I could very well be wrong. I have a feeling that this content is going to be free, or at least some of it is going to be free. And the reason for that is, unless they're going to be working on something equally as big as the following, which I don't really see happening, but once again, that could happen... Um, then, you know, Techland has been pretty damn good with free content in the past. Um, the reason why you had to pay for Dying Light the following, or get it through the season pass, is because it's friggin' huge. I mean, it's, it's pretty much its own game at this point. Uh, but in terms of unannounced content, that to me, uh, I, I think we're just gonna get, like, updates, we're gonna get cool new features that they're gonna add in for free, but once again, don't quote me on that, and Techland, please don't feel, uh, pressured to do that now that I've said that because once again this is just a guess and by all means if you want to put out some paid DLC uh, then I would trust you guys to do so because the following is definitely worth every penny and it's certainly worth it if you're already at the season pass uh, but anyway I just wanted to bring that to your attention guys Dying Light will be supported for another year for the entirety of 2016 and we can look forward to even more new content and I just want to say to those of you who don't have any content, you don't have the following, and you don't have, you haven't got like the Bozak Horde or anything else, and you're looking at possibly getting the Season Pass, this may be an indication that you should, because once again, we don't know if it's going to be free, we don't know if there's going to be paid content, but if you want to be safe and you do want all of the DLC, I mean, you could also purchase Dying Light the Enhanced Edition, uh, but, you know, if you do want all the DLC, then the Season Pass is still available to buy, and if there is any paid DLC release in the future, then you will be entitled to that. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video and let me know if you think this is a series that I should really continuously maintain if you are interested in Hellraid and any other news relating to Techland, even Shortbreak Studios. Uh, as it said earlier, Hellraid The Escape was developed by Shortbreak Studios, which is actually a small mobile game app uh, company within Techland. Like, it is owned and operated by Techland. They've made other games like Guncat and cool things like that. So if you want news for them as well, uh, then by all means ask. And I mean, I'm in a interested in anything Techland, so if you want to know anything Techland related, I am more than happy to cover it and let you guys know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video once again. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.